Ishan Avasthi is an 8-year-old boy who has trouble following school. Though he is assumed by all to hate learning and assumed to be a troublemaker. And is belittled for it. He has repeated the third standard from the previous year due to his failures. His imagination, creativity, and talent for art and painting are often disregarded. His father, Nandkishore is a successful executive who expects his sons to excel. And his mother, Maya is a homemaker, housewife who is frustrated by her inability to educate, Ishan. Ishan's elder brother, Johan is an exemplary student in whose shadow Ishan remains. One day, Ishan and his parents are called by Ishan's principal to discuss about his behavior and grades. Fed up of hearing Ishan's failures and lack of improvement, Nandkishore sends Ishan to a boarding school. Alone there, he rapidly sinks into a state of fear, anxiety, and depression, which is only worsened by the teachers there and their strict and abusive regime. His only friend is Rajan Damodaran, a physically disabled boy who is one of the top students and resides with his family there. As his father is part of the school's board, Ishan contemplates suicide one day, but is stopped when he hears Rajan fall down and Ishan gets off the ledge to help him up. Rajan also informs him that Mr. Holkar has left the school and is being replaced by someone else. Ram Shankar Nikumb, a cheerful and optimistic instructor at the Tulip School for Young Children with Developmental Disabilities. Joins the boarding school's faculty the same day. Replacing the authoritarian Mr. Holker. The school's former art teacher. Ram's teaching style is markedly different from that of Holker's. And he quickly notes Ishan's unhappiness that day after he fails to draw anything during the class. He reviews Ishan's work and concludes that his academic shortcomings are indicative of dyslexia. Ram then visits the Avasthi's house in Mumbai, where he is surprised to discover Ishan's hidden interest in art. Flustered, he demonstrates to Maya and Johan how Ishan has extreme difficulty in understanding letters and words due to dyslexia, and his poverty in sports skills stems from his poor motor ability, which also applies to his difficulty in tying shoelaces. Nandkishore labels it as an intellectual disability, as well as excuse, and dismisses it as laziness much to Ram's frustration. Back at school, Ram brings up the topic of dyslexia in a class by offering a list of famous dyslexic people. He comforts Ishan, telling him how he struggled as a child as well. Ram obtains the principal's permission to become Ishan's tutor, with gradual care. He works to improve Ishan's reading and writing by using remedial techniques developed by dyslexia. Specialists. Eventually, both Ishan's demeanor and his grades improve. One day Nandkishore visits the school and tells Ram that he and Maya have read up on dyslexia and understand the condition. Ram mentions that what Ishan needs more than understanding is that someone loves him. Outside Nandkishore sees Ishan reading from a board. With teary eyes, he is unable to face his son and walks away. At the end of the school year, Ram organizes an arts and crafts contest for the staff and students. Judged by artist Lalita Lajmi, Ishan's work makes him the winner and Ram, who paints Ishan's portrait, is declared the runner-up. The principal announces that Ram has been hired as the school's permanent art teacher. When Ishan's parents meet his teachers on the last day of school, they are left speechless by the transformation in him. Overcome with emotion, Nandkishore thanks Ram. Before leaving, Ishan runs toward Ram, who lifts him high up in a hug.